Hello. Today is August the 15th, 2020. We are now 152 days into 15 days to flatten the curve. And this is my commentary for the week. This week, I would like to talk about three ways to deal with the Rona pandemic panic. There are three ways that we can be more positive in this situation. Number one, we must not embrace the spirit of fear. The Bible says that we are not given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Fear paralyzes us. Fear keeps us in bondage and slavery. We cannot live if we are living in fear. Instead of thinking about and worrying about COVID-19, COVID-19. we should be thinking about John 3.16, that God loves us. And God does not want us to live in fear. I spoke about this months ago, and guess what? I got censored and deleted off of YouTube for speaking about not living in fear. Number two, it is important that we spend time with friends and those we love. We don't need to be isolating ourselves and locking ourselves in a corner somewhere and not communicating and spending time with others. But we need to be enjoying the company of others and fellowshipping with others. You know, there are eight benefits to socializing and being a part of a community and spending time with others, I'd like to share a few. It benefits your mental health. Socialization can help improve our mental and emotional health. Studies show, and wisdom confirms, being social decreases depression. It in increases and in benefits our mental health. Number two, it boosts confidence and self-esteem People who report feeling lonely often have lower confidence and self-esteem. Spending time with those whose company you enjoy can be confidence boosting. Number three, it increases your quality of life. Studies show that loneliness and senior health issues have been correlated and that loneliness is a risk factor of functional decline and death in older people. Number four, reduced blood pressure. Loneliness is a risk factor for higher blood pressure and these effects compound the longer the loneliness continues. Number five, it reduces the risk of Alzheimer's. Feeling lonely can raise the risk of cognitive decline. Number six, it boosts immunity and other physical health benefits. Socialization can reduce the risk for cardiovascular disease, cancer, osteoporosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Number seven, it increases brain health. A University of Rochester Medical Center study found socialization boosts cognitive function. And number eight, it promotes purpose. Spending time with others helps us feel useful and that our life has a greater purpose. So number two, we need to spend time with others. We don't need to be social distancing and social isolating ourselves. We need to spend time with others. Finally, I would like to say, if you want to increase your quality of life in this crazy time and what the media is telling you and 
If you want to increase your quality of life, you need to have a sense of humor. You need to have a sense of humor. I'm going to leave you with this. I see mask people. On Halloween. Medical face masks. You mean like at the dentist or the hospital and the doctor's office? Walking and driving with no other people. They think it stops the spread of viruses. And they scream at you if you don't wear one. How often do you see them?